Hello, my name is Christopher. Today I'm going to show you how to install Pi-hole on Casa OS. This video was suggested by a viewer, so, so thank you for that. And if you have any video suggestions, I'll let me know. So, a little bit about this series. I'm going over home labs, and installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So I'm on the Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the description to get to this. So I'm going to go into a how to install Pi-hole on Casa OS right here. And we're gonna need to clear port 53. So I'm gonna go into Big Bear Scripts right here. And then how to use this is you just run this script, but you, you can also go in here and you can see what it's gonna be doing. So it's gonna check for repair privileges it's going to a di a display open fi files, so it's going to display uh, if uh, what's open on for port 53 and what's listening on it. And then it's going to ask the user for confirmation if they really want to proceed. So y uh, Y or N, so Y is for yes and N is for no. Th and then if you say Y to this, it's going to proceed and it's going to disable and stop the system D resolved dot service. And then at the end, it's going to check if port 53 is clear. So I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to copy this script. And then I'm going to go over to my server. And I'm going to um, run this and get port 53 uh, not listening on anything. So now on my uh, installation of Casa OS, I'm going to paste this in the terminal. So I'm going to go into my... my um, my LXC, then I'm gonna go, go to console, and then I'm gonna paste it in here, and then I'm gonna run it by return or enter, and then it's gonna say what's listing on port 53 right here, so something is, and that's system D resolve right here. So this is just an internal DNS server uh, that uh, Ubuntu or Debian comes with. So I'm going to go ahead and press Y, and then enter or return. Okay, now it's gonna re remove this, it's gonna stop it, disable it, and then it's gonna say port 53 is clear. So now port 53 is clear, so we can start uh, installing Pi-hole on Casa OS. So now we are gonna start on the Big Bear Video Assets right here. There will be a link down in the description to get to it. And then I'm going to go to, um, to I had to install Pi-hole on Casa OS right here. And then I'm gonna go on to Docker Compose. And then I'm gonna start with Docker Compose version three. And then I'm gonna define some services. And then the ser ser service is called Pi-hole. The container name is called Pi-hole. And then I'm gonna set an image. So if this doesn't have a URL in the beginning of this, this means it's coming off Docker Hub. And then I'm going to set a version of 2023.5.2. So you might have a newer version, so you can set it right here. You can find it on Docker Hub, the other versions. And then I'm going to expose some ports. So I'm going to expose 53 and 53 on TCP and UDP. And then I'm going to expose 7300 on the host side. So the left of these is the host side. The right is the container side. You cannot change the right side. So I'm gonna set some environment variables. So I'm gonna set the uh, time zone. You can set your time zone here. And then I'm gonna set the web password to actually sign into the web UI. So I'm gonna set it as pa password, but I would recommend you changing this. And then I'm gonna set a, uh, a volumes. So data, app data, pie hole, data, and then pie hole. And then data, app data, pie hole, data, and DNS mask. So the, the the left side of these is the host. The right side is the container. You cannot change the container side. So the container is etc pie hole, and then uh, that's put in there. And then e etc a DNS mask. So these all sync back and forth and makes it to where uh, you, you can always see the data on the host side. So now I'm gonna set a restart policy. So I'm gonna set unless stopped. 
So that means if you stop it for, for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any reason or any other reason, then it will try to restart. I'm going to set some DNS servers for the re resolution on the container side. And then I'm going to set localhost for, for the internal re resolution. And then 1.1.1.1 on the Cloudflare DNS for the external resolution. And then now I'm going to copy the raw file. And I'm going to go over to my Casa OS and try to get this installed. So now that we got port uh, 53 cleared, everything good. So now we can go in the App Store. Uh, we can start on Casa OS and go to the App Store. Then go to Custom Install up here. And then go to Import. And then now we're going to paste in our Docker Compose that I, I explained in the last. Then now Submit. OK. Now I'm going to give it a name, so I'm going to give it Pihole, and then I'm going to give it an icon new rail. So I'm going to go over to Big Bear Video Assets. I'm going to go backwards, then I'm going to go to here and copy it. Then I'm going to go over here, cos OS again. I'm going to paste it in, and then now you got an icon new rail. So I'm going to set the web UI port to 7300, and then that's looks good so i'm going to install now installation completed so it looks like it's installing successfully you can continue in background and wait for it here What this is doing is it downloaded it off Docker Hub and um, and and started up with Docker Compose in the background. And then now it's looking for a, um, a, a latest image, a newer image. So, so I'm going to go over the container options. So I'm going to go up these vertical dots right here. And you, you can uh, open the container. Uh, uh, you can uh, put, put custom tips in, say like. You put test in and you saved it and then it's going to reload the container so now you can go back into tips and you can see it saved you can go into settings you can see terminal logs great for debugging and then you can export the docker compose and then if you change things in here you just press the save button right here so i'm gonna go out of this so you can check for updates for the current tag it's on. So um, you can uninstall, restart, power off and on. So now I'm going to show you where the files live. So in COS OS, it's really easy to see files. So you can go in the files app right here. Then you can go to app data and then pie hole and then the data. And then you can see the DNS mast uh, directory right here. And then now you can go backwards and you can see the pihole directory and you can see the databases, everything like that. So that's how to see the data in COS OS. So now I'm going to set up the UI. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say open. And you, you can see it, it's 403 forbidden there. So I'm going to go backwards and I'm going to go here to settings. And then I'm going to change this to admin. I'm going to save it, then I'm going to go into open. Okay, now you can see that it's going to the administration panel now. So it's going to the the IP and then 7300 and then add an admin on it. So now I'm going to put the web password that we have in our environment variables. So I'm, and mine's called password. So I'm going to log in. You can see that it's working. So the UI is actually um, up. Now, so, so, so you can see that there's the query logs and you can blacklist. You can see the long-term data on graphics, query logs, top list. You can go in here to add list and you can go and find list uh, that, that are normally in GitHub and you can add more to the block list, uh, to the blacklist. And then um, you can disable the blocking for a certain amount of time. 
You can go to the, the local DNS, you can see DNS records, and then C name. So you can have these in there for the, uh, to have your own custom DNS. And then you can see diagnostics, you can see the settings. So you, you can go over here and you can turn off Google and you can turn on Cloudflare. So this is turning on for IPv4. So you can scroll down and um, you can see this, the save button right here. Okay, now the DNS uh, has been changed. So it now it's resolving with Quade 9 on the upstream and Cloudflare. You can also put in custom DNS resolvers too. You can go into DHP and have your own DHP server run running. You can change the theme, the interface settings, the per browser settings. You can see an API set, set settings. You can see pri privacy settings. And makes it to where you can back it up, restore it. So that's how to get Pi-hole running on Cos OS. So I just showed you step by step on how to get Pi-hole running on Cos OS. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.